Hey everyone, Steven here with Cardboard Coalition. And a cartoon if you hear that, she's running around. And today I figured I would bring you an unboxing of Founders of Gloomhaven, right? This game is from Cephalophore, Cephalophare Games, right? And it does say of Gloomhaven, um, and they do it really small, and I think the reason they do that is because this is a city building game, not necessarily, at least from what I can tell from reading the back, an adventure kind of game like Gloomhaven. This is for one to four players, it takes 120 minutes, it's for ages 12 plus. Let's go ahead and jump into this, see what we got. So the reason I have this, or got this, was a friend was at a store where, let me shut the knife, Hatoon staring like she wants to dive up here. Um, a friend went to a store and they were going out of business, a comic shop, and he just figured I might want this game. So he ended up picking it up, or me or Resvon might want this game, right? And so he picked it up for us. You could see it sitting a little bit. There's the price tag that was blocking the light that was sitting on this game for a long time. So they had it for a while. But you know what? I like city building games. Resvon likes city building games. So it was a cool idea. This is actually a really heavy box. I'm surprised how heavy the box is. All right, let's go ahead and set that off to the side. We got a rule book. Let's see how much trouble we're in. How much trouble are we in? Well, let's do the back. Important reminders, that's nice to have. No index, but hopefully the game's pretty easy to figure out outside of that. So it looks like game variant, solo play, end of game. 16 pages, not a bad, not a bad read. 16 pages to get through to figure out how to play Founders. All right. Then we have a board. So we can open up without smack I I think I've told you guys before, boards always make me nervous because um, they open different ways. All right, there's one side. You guys can see. Now, I know this game's been out for a bit, but someone might eventually want to pick up this game. Smack the camera. Here's the other side. I'm assuming there's probably a different amount of player action. Nope, two different maps. That's cool. That's cool. So let's go ahead and close this up without tearing it. Um, but anyways, yeah, you know what, people, this is an older game. Obviously, I can't remember when it came out. Um, but, you know, people might want to go out and buy it, and so they can watch this and see what's in there. So we have a whole bunch of tiles. They pop out pretty easy. It's obviously to build the city. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a little temple or something, but there we go. We got tiles. Tiles upon tiles upon tiles. Dang, one of 12, two of 12, three of 12. I'm guessing there's 12 in here. Would explain why the box was so heavy. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. Four of 12, five of 12, six of 12, seven of 12. I guess there's even more. Okay. All right, so lots of tiles. Looks like tokens and stuff. Coins. I wonder if these are considered some of the tiles. These look like player boards. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got here. Where's the... I can't see it. Can y'all see? Oh, there it is. The little pulley tab thing. There we go. The pulley tab thing. Where's the little pulley tab thing? Let's go ahead and slide that out. We don't need the plastic for now. Savas, Vermling, Valrath, Ashir. I'm assuming these are people you can play. Um, looks like a board. Cards are going to be set down on there to play for some reason. Dual sided, any reason? Not that I see right away. All right. And I'm assuming these are going to be more player boards. Let's see. I can figure this one out quicker now that I figure out where one was. I don't know if you can hear Khatun running around there, but she is. All right. Orchid, 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 uh, Harrower, Orchid, Harrower, Human. Well, I don't know what that is. Those are humans. All right. Enux. I'm sure if you play Gloomhaven, you know all these, right? 
in the court quatrille quatrille huh the quatrille Quat quatrille man quatrille all right let's see what else we got cards down here not a ton of cards but there's some cards where's the knife put it away because ding, worried about the cartoon so we will well she seems calmer we'll set this there oh i smacked the camera when did i do that all right there we go all right so we got some cards i'm assuming this is going to be yeah i don't oh that's the back so we got a couple different types of cards not super interesting i could see where this didn't get a super super high score um, because there's not a lot of interesting art it's kind of bland we'll go through them this way well this is fun here now we got some art going on i think this might be like your player person the bureaucrat the carpenter maybe people to help build your city it looks like all right maybe objectives maybe Maybe objectives. Soldier garrison. Maybe these are things that you can build. Don't know how to play the game yet. Like I said, it was bought for me by a friend. Which was cool. Income. Construct. Recruit. Upgrade. Trade. A call for a vote. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interessante. All right, what else do we have in here? We got a small pack of cards. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. There we go. Small pack of cards. So some building guides. I wonder if this is like a setup for different types of games. Oh, we can show the back here in a second. Achievements. Well, I'm assuming these are achievements. Different color achievements. Purple, blue, and red, right? Purple, blue, and red achievements. Uh, deliver a resource to three different... Okay. So the achievements on this side, and then you get this, I'm assuming, when you get it. That's just guessing based on games. All right, we got knowledge, metal, population, stone, crops... Gems, wood, and livestock. Not sure what that is, but I'm sure it's something. All right, we got some acrylic pieces. Some reds and whites, and they're just mixed in the bag together. Cool, they're like little diamond ones. There has to be like a generic, because I've seen this style in other games, the exact kind, maybe different colors are the same. There has to be a generic, like, red diamond piece. All right. Oh, nice. I might already saw that. A whole bunch of bags. Bags are always nice to have. I'm going to dump everything out of this bag and see what we got. Wooden cubes. I mean, we'll just give them a little, a little, a little, a little glance. If you ever wonder what happens here, I'm assuming the paint's just a little wet. Usually just a little bit of pressure will pull them apart. All right, so we got lots of different color cubes. I'm assuming they represent something. Oh, hey, what do you know? Look at this card. This might be what cubes represent. I'm going to make a guess. All right. So you got cubes. We got discs. Are discs just flattened cubes? Little wooden discs. A bunch of different colors. Looks like they match the cube colors. All right, and then we got meeples. I wonder, different colors. We got purple and brown and gray. I wonder if these represent the different people. Like if you pick a civilization, then you get all the meeples of that color. This gives us at least one, two, three, four, five, six, possibly seven. We'll just dump them in because there's more stuff. There's meeples, but then there's some other things like that. That's kind of cool. I don't know what that is. Meeples. A shield. I wonder if that's starting player. 
What else do we have? We got some little structure ones, mountains and stuff like that. It's interesting, interesting, interesting. And lots of bags. All right, well, this is uh, everything. Let me flip the box and dump the trash everywhere. This is everything that you get in Founders of Gloomhaven, right? Um, uh, from Cephalofair Games. It's going to screw up every time I look at it. It's uh, for one to four players. Takes 120 minutes to play, and it's for ages 12 plus. I hope you guys enjoyed. Help us grow the channel by liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting the bell notification. And we're going to try to stay, get some regular videos coming out. I'm sure Reslon will get back in on the videos too. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.